Hey guys, Patrick R with TAP TV. So we've been accused of shilling for the RAS 47 and uh, I'm gonna be upfront with you guys. We don't shill, period, end of story. Uh, I would rather quit the channel than shill for a firearm or a company or a product or whatever the case might be. Because frankly, when I was getting into shooting, I relied on these YouTube videos, I relied on blogs, and I relied on Facebook posts and forums to tell me what I should buy and what I shouldn't buy. And sometimes that those opinions were wrong and I ended up with something that was junk or it didn't fit my needs. And sometimes they were spot on and I didn't have to go out and spend more money on something else to get something that fit my needs. Now, when I get a firearm in for review, sometimes it's something I request, sometimes it's something that is assigned to me. Uh, in this case, this firearm was assigned to me. Uh, Sentry had some of this new full metal jacket bullet tail ammo coming in uh, the country, and they wanted us to show you guys the new ammo, and they offered to send a RAS 47 along with so we could shoot that in the RAS 47. And I felt like the ammo really wasn't that interesting and that the rifle was a little more interesting than the ammo. I didn't realize that there was so much hate uh, <laughs> for the RAS 47 because I'm not an AK guy and I don't follow the AK channels. Um, like I like the stuff that Robski does and whenever I do have a question about AK stuff, usually AK Operators Union is my first um, you know, look, but I don't consistently watch it. I don't keep up what's going on with in the AK world. And that's a failure on my part. Um, so that said, uh, here's the review. Keep in mind that uh, this is based on my experience with no prior knowledge of the RAS 47 um, through 400 rounds of Red Army Standard Full Metal Jacket Boat Tail. Uh, I've, I'll kind of spoil it right now. I found that the rifle is shoot reasonably okay, but realistically. So would I buy one of these things? Probably not. Um, if I were shopping for one, I might look at a couple of YouTube channels like TFP TV and uh, Military Arms Channel and some of the other guys like Such and Mr. Guns and Gear that might have had their hands on one of these things and see what they experience. Uh, but again, this is just me presenting the rifle. Hey guys, Patrick R with TFB TV. Today I'm gonna to take a look at the RAS 47. Now this one is the Magpul MOE version. So that means it's got the MOE Magpul handguard, MOE Magpul stock on the back that's not collapsible or foldable. Um, and then you get a Magpul key mag with it and that's the MOE uh, as well. Now my rifle showed up with a red dot mount that takes the T1 and the H1 uh, red dots from Aimpoint. So instead of going out and spending a ton of money on an Aimpoint, I called Primary Arms and got my hands on one of their micro dots. Now this is the MD80S. So it's got the plus and minus buttons up on top. And uh, overall, it's a pretty solid little red dot. You do get a tang on the rear. So if you want to mount a standard AK buttstock, you can do that. Or if you wanted to add a Zukov buttstock, you can do that as well. So uh, that's pretty nice. Now, I also added a Vickers sling on here from Blue Force Gear and uh, one of their U-loops on the other end to kind of give me a sling for this thing. But if you don't know much about the RAS 47, this is a US produced AK. So this is 100% US made. Um, and I think probably the only thing that's not US made on here is the optic. Uh, everything else is, at least to my knowledge. So I've got to say it's got a pretty darn good trigger. And overall, it feels very nice in the hand. The uh, AK furniture from Magpul really does feel great. They did a wonderful job with that stuff. And you get M-Lock slots on there, which is awesome, at the three, six, and nine o'clock position. So if you want to put a bipod on this thing, or if you wanted to put, say, like a flashlight or a vertical foregrip, whatever you wanted to do, you can. Now you get a standard slant muzzle brake on here. And um, underneath there, you've got some threads. If you pull the muzzle device off, you can go ahead and thread whatever brake you want on there, whatever Rob Ski from AK Operators Union 
says is the best for that because he is the AK guy, but like, you, like I said, you get threads underneath there. Um, so that's pretty nice. I'll just pick that up in a little bit. Anyway, um, everything else about the rifle is pretty solid. Like I put about 400 rounds through it today. I didn't put more ammo through it because it's hot and I've got other things I need to shoot today. But I would have spent a whole lot more time on this thing because I had a whole lot of fun shooting at 200 yards at a 10 inch plate with this little red dot sight and just beating the crud out of that, uh, that plate. This red dot mount that we do have on here is a return to zero red dot mount, but it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get on and off. Um, you do have two Torx screws down here on the bottom and getting it all lined up and in place um, is not the easiest thing. Like most of you guys know, you can't bore sight one of these things without uh, something to kind of show you where the bore is pointing, like a laser bore sighter or a more traditional bore sight tool. Now, on an AR, you can go ahead and just crack the thing open. You can shotgun it, look down the barrel, look through the sight, kind of get an idea and get on paper. With this, you can't do that. So I tried taking the mount off, lining the sights up, and then putting the mount on very carefully without moving anything, and then tightening it and zeroing the red dot, and it didn't work so well. But, um, you know, that is what it is. That's just a limitation of the AK design. If you're looking for one, head on over to Proxy Bid, check them out. You probably will be able to pick up a RAS 47. And if not, maybe RAS 47, maybe you'll run into that awesome deal on a uh, Polytech AK or maybe a Norenko or something that uh, you just can't live without. And uh, as always, thanks to the guys over at Ventura Munitions for sending over some of that new Red Army Standard Full Metal Jacket Boat Tail Ammo, which proved to be pretty darn accurate in this AK. Um, good call on recommending that, guys and I appreciate their support, so check them out also. We'll see you all later. Bye.